Chick-fil-A brings us stories of athletes who inspire us. Aubrey, this week's inspirational athlete is Brody Payne from St. Ignatius. The outstanding water polo player is making waves, showing how a teen with diabetes can be a top high school athlete. Summertime club water polo for Brody Payne and his team. This goal part of a successful summer season leading into his high school season at St. Ignatius. This season Brody will be a senior captain on the Wildcats varsity team a long way from where this outstanding player started as a freshman. When I was in eighth grade um, the symptoms started showing a lot like drinking a lot of water, uh, super exhausted, losing weight. I lost like 20 pounds when I was 14. The symptoms led to a trip to the hospital where it was clear there was a serious problem. My doctor tested my blood sugar. Outrageous, outrageously high. He's like, can we go home and pick up clothes if we're gonna be there for a couple days? And the doctor's like, no, you should probably just go and have his clothes sent in later. And we're like, okay, so really, what are we dealing with? But the good news is he wasn't, he wasn't actually that sick. He wasn't acidotic. So the, the, the fear with diabetes is the ketoacidosis. So when we were in the ER and very quickly learning about everything. From there, the path was clear. Brody would spend his time learning how to live with type 1 diabetes. There's just so much learning from your mistakes, like knowing what to eat before really matters, uh, when to do insulin, when not to do insulin, how that changes eating on the bench, drinking Gatorade on the bench. Everything's just like learning from my mistakes and building upon those. As it turns out, water polo has helped dealing with the diabetes. The biggest difference right now versus the rest of my life is exercise and the training regimen that is water polo really helps manage my blood sugar a lot. So I will probably continue to exercise, but almost as a requirement of diabetes treatment, it, exercise works as well as any medication. Brody wears a small glucose monitor during practice and games. If Brody senses something is wrong, he can get out of the pool and check his levels quickly on his phone. This all started during the pandemic. Brody finds some positive even in this tough situation. With COVID, there was nothing going on in my life outside of my house. Same for everyone else, I'm sure. And then even though I had diabetes, I treated at my house and then I added in water polo into my life and then I learned how to adapt to water polo with diabetes and then I learned to adapt at school with diabetes. Brody advanced quickly with water polo this season becoming an important part of the team. So Brody is one of our captains. Um, he plays the center defender position so it's one of our most uh, viable skill positions. Along with that he's one of our smartest and best offensive players um, so he really does a lot for us. Now Brody has the diabetes well under control. He wants other young athletes to know they can compete at a high level while keeping their blood sugar levels under control. I would say don't let it stop you from anything. Uh, you'll make mistakes, you'll go low, you'll go high, whatever. Your blood sugar will be all out of range, but in the end you can learn from the mistakes and I don't think diabetes has stopped me from doing anything I want to do. And I mean just the, the way he's handled it with such grace and tolerance and patience. Um, is unbelievable. With all of this, Brody carries a 4.6 GPA. Brody plans to play water polo in college next season, but right now he's hoping to lead the Wildcats to a section title. That's hopefully. right. They're planning on doing good this year. They'll, very be, well. they'll be good, but a very tough league. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Robert. Thanks for watching. Please join our YouTube memberships to get early access to highlights and our podcast covered Cal High. You'll also be able to see full game videos and vote for the players of the week. So click join and make sure to tune in every Sunday night at 6 p.m. on NBC Sports California. We'll see you at the games.